Good morning. I am Vedaraj, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Now we are going to discuss domain model concept. This is very important concept in object oriented analysis and design. What is domain model? The domain model is a visual representation of conceptual classes or real situation objects in a domain. Actually, a domain model is the representation of real world conceptual classes. Very important thing, not a software components. Domain modeling is a technique used to understand the project problem description and translate the requirement of the project into software component of the solution. The software components are commonly implemented in object oriented programming languages. A domain model contains conceptual classes, association between conceptual classes and attributes of the conceptual classes. Informally, the conceptual classes is an idea or thing or object. Okay, so a domain model is the visual representation of conceptual classes. Student, what do you mean by conceptual class? You know, conceptual class is an idea thing or object okay this domain model also being called as conceptual model okay the other name for domain model is domain object model dom or it is also called as analysis object model okay see in uml how the domain model is represented right a domain model is illustrated with a set of class diagram in which no operations are defined this is very very important okay so a domain model is represented as a set of class diagram in which no operations are defined okay the domain model can show only the conceptual classes, association between conceptual classes, attributes of the conceptual classes. Then, how the domain model, what are the comp, what are the elements not suitable for domain model? Okay, see, we discussed a domain model is the visual representation of conceptual classes, okay, not a software object such as Java, C sharp classes or software object with responsibilities. See, very important thing when you are discussing about the domain model, the domain model, the following elements are not suitable. Number one, it does not support software artifacts facts such as window or database the second important thing is should not support responsibilities or method okay these are the two elements not suitable for the domain model see this is the example of domain model the first um, uh, conceptual class c it is the it is not a picture of software class okay visualization of real world concept in domain of interest the first one is the valid c it has the name it has the attribute c it does not have any responsibility so it is a valid okay the second you should not use any uh, database okay database is not a part of the domain model right see we already discussed what are the what are the elements which is not suitable for domain model right the database is not suitable for domain model the responsibilities or method is not suitable for domain model see here sale database you should avoid okay it is not a part of the domain model the third element see sale is there date and time or attributes print is the responsibility print is the method you cannot use any responsibilities or method Okay, it is not a part of the domain model. See, the database and responsibilities is not a part of the domain model. So, you should avoid database and responsibilities. How to create a domain model, students? There are three important steps we are using for creation of domain model. The first important step, you have to find the conceptual classes. What do you mean by conceptual class? Simply, we can say conceptual class is the idea, thing or object. Okay, first step of creation of domain model is you have to find the conceptual classes. 
the second step for creation of domain model draw the classes in uml class diagram okay draw the draw draw them as a classes okay the conceptual classes uh, can be represented in uml notation the third important add association and attribute this is the third step okay these are the three important step for creation of domain model the first step you have to find the conceptual classes okay the second step draw them as a classes in uml class diagram the third step add association and attribute okay next finding the conceptual classes how to find the conceptual classes this is the first step of creation of domain model right so there are two important techniques are presented in the following section the first one is use category list this is the one of the technique for finding the conceptual classes the second important technique to identify noun phrases these are the two important techniques to find the conceptual classes the first class the first technique use category list to identify the conceptual classes the second technique use noun phrases to identify the conceptual classes now we discuss one by one first we are going to find the conceptual classes with the help of the category list okay so this is the conceptual class category list okay the first we i, I taken two exam i taken one example called as what uh, airplane okay airplane is the example for a, a category list concept the first parameter physical and tangible object what is the physical and tangible object in airplane okay airplane ticket reservation airplane is the example okay description of the thing example flight description places airport transaction reservation or cancellation transaction line item it is not applicable for airline ticket reservation so i leave it as empty role of people cashier and pilot are the role of people example container of other thing airplane contain passenger so things in a container passenger other computer or electromechanical system external to the system credit payment authorization system air traffic control or example organization object airplane is the example what are the events of airline ticket reservation payment flight crash landing what is the rules and policies refund policy and cancellation policy what is the catalog i think catalog is not possible so i leave it as empty records of finance work contract and legal matters receipt ledger employment contract and maintenance log financial instrument and services are not applicable manual document reference paper books repair manual so this is the example if you fill the right hand side you can get n number of conceptual classes see the what is the category is parameter physical or tangible object is the parameter description of thing is the one of the parameter places transaction transaction line item a role of people container of other things things in a container electromechanical system organization even rules and policies catalog records of finance or contract and legal matters financial instrument and services manual document reference paper and book see if you can take any application the left hand side is common you have to fill only the right hand side okay if you fill the right hand side you can get the n number of conceptual classes the first step is you have to identify the conceptual classes what are the conceptual classes we find it we find out airplane flight description airport reservation cashier pilot airplane passenger payment flight crash landing receipt ledger repairment these all are called as the uh, conceptual classes if you fill this table you can get n number of conceptual classes what is the next uh, technique for identify the conceptual classes with the help of the noun phrases okay here the poe system as the example point of sale okay first you have to write this scenario what is the scenario of point of sale customer arrives poe check out with goods or services to purchase cashier start the new sale cashier enter the item identifier system record the sale and item system present the total with taxes cashier tell the customer the total and ask for payment customer pays and system handle the payment system logs the completed sale system present the receipt customer leaves with the receipt and goods okay these all are called as the scenario of pos checkout we already discussed what do you mean by scenario scenario is nothing but what sequence of action in this sequence of action you have to identify the noun phrases okay see here see the first step customer is the noun pos checkout is the noun goods services are noun cashier is the noun sale is the noun item identifier noun sale and item is the uh, noun item description price total are noun tax noun payment is the noun receipt is the noun you have to identify the noun phrases in a scenario 
okay all the noun phrases are called as the conceptual classes okay students is very simple technique okay first step you have to write the complete scenario of application then you identify the noun phrases in the scenario all the noun phrases are called as the conceptual classes see there are two techniques one you can use category list to identify the conceptual classes the second technique use identify noun phrases in a scenario all the noun phrases are called as the uh, conceptual class this is the first step of creation of domain model the first step of creation of domain model finding the conceptual classes how to find the conceptual class you have two choices you have two uh, techniques one is use category list to identify the conceptual classes the second is to identify the noun phrases in a scenario to identify the conceptual classes Okay, thank you students.